Okay, everybody, today's video is a Shasta, and this is Johnny, and he's going to tell us about it. So, Johnny, first of all, what year is the camper? It's a 1974 Shasta 16 SC. That's a long name. <laughs> and uh, you said 16? 16. So it's 16 feet long? Yeah. Okay. From and do you know how much it weighs? 2,200 pounds. So it's a little bit heavy. Yeah. But it's one of the larger ones. Okay, so did you redo all this outside or was it like this when you bought it? I redid uh, pretty much the whole paper. Okay. I, uh, sanded down the outside. I took all the windows out and redo the paint them. I uh, had to rebuild the door completely. It, was, it looks like center. brand new. Yeah. It's, it, well, it is. <laughs> yeah. Except for the, you know, the the hardware is original, but okay. I had to replace the skins and redo some of the frame inside it. So it was pretty bad when you found it. It was, you know, for its age, it was in, it had good bones. It just needed some attention. Okay. So you want to take us inside and show sure. us? Get the, even the shiny wheels. This is definitely, it's wider, I think, than right. the other ones I've been in. It is. It's, um, it's, it's about six inches wider than standard for some reason. But it, it makes it feel so much bigger. It does. And the yeah. layout's very, very roomy. Now, are those curtains original? They're not. My wife replaced those. Uh, we got. We it got looks the like camper. vintage fabric. Right, right. I'm sorry, you got the camper in what? Uh, we got it uh, about a year and a half ago. And uh, she redid the curtains last year. Now, did you have to redo everything on the inside, too? Interestingly, no. We thought the interior was toast and had even already bought paint. But we thought that was our only option. But as I was starting to restore everything, I started messing around with it to discover that this is actually not printed paper veneer, but it's actually printed wood veneer. And I discovered uh, taking some Danish oil tinted with dark walnut stain. I basically just uh, uh, recoated the walls and it brought the, the moisture back into the walls and it actually hit all the scratches. <laughs> oh, so the kind of like a scratch cover. We used to use Old much. English scratch yeah, cover. Yeah, yeah. And just completely covered it all. What is this? It's just a little drawer. I don't know if it's original or not. Just a, okay. Just a little drawer. Don't know. It might be original. It's, it's kind of got the color. Mm -hmm. And then this is huge. Yeah. So, you can, I mean, can, how if you put all this together, what do you have? Uh, California King. You can sleep this way. Okay. And you've got a giant bed. It's a California King if you put all the beds together. But you can, you can break this down into one bed, and this slides out. And so you can have a skinny twin or an extra size twin or a full, basically three different ways. So you could have, even if you just took this back pillow off, you could have a skinny twin here mm -hmm. and then have a full size over mm -hmm. there with a walkway in between, mm -hmm. or you could set it all up as one. Mm -hmm. wow. Yeah, there's several options for the I've never seen one like this. Yeah, the centerpiece one of the owners added that used to be flooring right there. Okay. And they added that cabinet and that cushion. Um, don't know why, but it actually, it creates additional storage space and a little more, you know, seating area. Right. Now, do you have a bathroom in here? Yes. It's a wet bath. Thank you. The first one with a real bathroom I videoed <laughs> this weekend. Everybody else has porta potties. Yeah, that's been redone. That is really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That looks all brand new. Mm -hmm. That is sure nice to have. Mm -hmm. And then you have the vent up there. Yep. And then you have a ceiling air conditioner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is just a storage closet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is really nice. Oh, is that your bathroom light switch right there? Yeah. That mm -hmm. little toggle. Mm -hmm. I have those slippers. <laughs> well, I'll give yes. them to my wife for Christmas. <laughs> so you have a lot of room. Yeah, and, and the little TV there. Yeah, with a DVD so. player in it for campgrounds like this, where there's no TV. Now, what is this thing up here? That is a smoke detector. Oh. I added that. 
so tiny. Yeah, that's I like the fact that it's so small. I never saw one uh, like that. I added a uh, propane and carbon monoxide detector as well, just to try to be safe. Right. And um, I converted the, uh, the the original glass fuses to a, you know modern blade fuses and add a charger. Uh, Can so, you run on solar at all? I don't. I'm not set up for that. Okay. I'm not sure right. what's involved other than the panels. Yeah, I don't usually go boondocking. I'm always at campgrounds with electric. So, mm -hmm. well, this is really nice. Thank you. Thank you for showing it to me. I'm going to walk around side. Okay. Outside. Right next to the creek. This is Timber Lake Campground in Whittier, North Carolina. Is there anything you want to tell me about the outside? Oh, it's a long list. I stripped it, repainted it. I pulled the uh, windows out and resealed those. I added uh, all of the eyebrows. Uh, the only original one is the one over the door. I okay. all the rest of them. I added the outside light. Um, had to replace the bumper. It had been mangled from at one time the camper was a lot lower and it had mm -hmm. been dragged too many times and one well, of the previous owners flipped the axle and made it taller. Replaced all the outside lights except for the, the tail lights there. You can't get them. Okay. And uh, I ended up restoring them. And you have a California license plate. Yeah, Is that where you used to live? That's where, that's where the, this came from California. Okay. I actually found it in Irwin. Some friends okay. of mine had it in Irwin. It's but not it, official now, like he lives in Tennessee, but that's just for uh, fun. And then you can put a bike yeah. back here? Yeah, bike rack or a luggage rack, you know, whatever you needed. And you have more storage there. Yeah. Sorry about the truck noise. And, and the wing, is the wing original? Yeah, because I know they're usually up here in the corner. That's, but on your model, it goes there? That's where they put it, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the brochure that you were looking at, there's a, cam a camper just like this in there. I don't know what year because there's not a year on there. And what they did, it still had the wing. And right there, they had a, a big metal Shasta Trailers logo. Okay. So, but this is where the original mm -hmm. location was? For this one in particular. It's, this was, huh. This was original. So I this must... keep everything as original as possible. Yeah, this must be a like a rare one because I've never seen one like this. No. You know, all the videos I've done, I've never seen one like this. I only know of three 16 SCs, regardless of year model. Well, all right. Thank you, Johnny. Sure, thank you. Okay, everybody, hit that thumbs up if you haven't already, and subscribe. I've got, you can see all these vintage campers. I'm doing videos of all of them. You don't want to miss them. See you next time. Bye. Bye.